morning guys big rich here and uh we're here for a fish rescues new video we got reaper here he's driving we're on our way up to home depot to get the rest of the wood for the turtle enclosure and uh we won't be showing that being built today i might show you the end product but uh reaper come by to grab the oh the uh van and the trailer he's got more moving to do and get his harley and all that kind of stuff out from storage and bring to his new place and uh we're getting things done so we'll keep videoing like always we're walking through Home Depot, and look what we see. <laughs> Cutest little thing. It's a little mini. I mean, look how little this thing is. But it's cool. It's cool. It's a little yeah. jellyfish fish tank. 15 bucks, man. Not bad. Wow. <laughs> okay, we made it back from Home Depot, and we hooked up the trailer, and it is so much easier having a trailer jack that actually works and folds up out of the way and lowers it up and down. We're not fighting nothing no more. Beautiful. The new trailer jack's working great. So, Reap's taking the trailer. He needs to use it. And uh, I'll be without the van for another day. But that's okay. We got the wood for the tortoise enclosure. We're good to go. We got a special, special surprise. I'm picking somebody up from the hospital. We'll see who this is. Wait for them to come out. But it's been a, it's been a few weeks since I've been around. Well, hi, Skylar. How you doing? Good. Good? As excited as you are to see me? It's been two weeks. Yeah. You ain't been here. How's it feel to be back at OFR? It's good. It's also the morning. <laughs> All right. Well, we got a big day planned ahead of us. Okay. It's looking more like a pen. All the way over here, we got to put the back sheathing on covering things and then closing that plug and the sheathing across the back here and then the support in the corner, which is going to be a two by four against the wall. And we're going to put it two by two against this and screw it to it and pull it up tight. Um, what did you say, Josh? I see bits with babies moving up on the albino. Oh, really? Yeah, pancake. They were behind us or behind the other ones. And now their the babies are moving before the other ones? You really have no way. I just started seeing her showing, but she, she could be the first time mom. Which there one? There could only be one or two. Get out the way! Get out the way! But get out yeah, the way! I, I see him moving. Pancake. Yeah, she's definitely got a, a chunky behind. I don't know if we'll catch any movement back there, but it's kind of hard. Let me clean off my lens. Okay, it's a little better. Yeah, I can't tell if I see movement or not, but. There's definitely babies there. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, now back here, guys. Um, we've been doing a lot of stuff, and I forgot to video any of it. But the fish we have officially stopped feeding for the winter. They are no longer eating because it will decay in their belly. So once the water temperature gets below 50, you stop feeding, and they're good for the rest of the winter. And uh, But we carried around them two big filters, and we're getting ready to hook them up over here. So we got them right there. What we got to do, today we got them moved here. We got to move that tomorrow, build the form under it, and uh, to have them something solid to sit on, and then put them back where they are. And then we can cover them with like, you know, rocks and all, and branches and stuff like that, make it look natural there. But Josh wanted them in place to measure for the piping, so he got that done. And uh, they're out of the way of the driveway. So we've been getting stuff done. And now the nurse is getting ready to leave, so I gotta go on, get inside for the my 15 hour shift. I gotta watch Tracy overnight. And uh, that means it's five o'clock here. <laughs> and Josh is tired, he's ready to go home. How you doing? <laughs> Just doing stuff, you know me. Okay, so let's go ahead in. All these plants, all the dead ones have got kind of like cut off and they're all doing good now. They're doing better, they're looking better. They're regrowing. So everything's good out here. Okay, next we got, uh, someone caught some, I guess, walleye and uh, we thawed one out today. And we're gonna try and throw it in and see if the arapaima or the catfish go after it. I believe that garl is speaking whole. No, he won't just. Try and get Bruce or uh, Brutus over here first. Oh, 
There he is. Take it. You're going to know when he comes up to the top. Or just hold it under the water and see if he'll come up and sniff it. She gone. Who took it? The gar. The big short bot buddy over there. Did it swallow it? It's in its mouth. Going to. Keep watching because I can't see. She's over there on the far end of the pond. You can say that. All I got is reflection. I can't see. Oh, it's going down, down her throat and it's gone. She ate it? Yeah. Wow, that was a that big was fish. a 14 inch fish. And Brutus, you messed up. You could have had a, a, a walleye, buddy. All right, guys. It's 9 o'clock the next morning. And look at this place. The fish are all huddled in the corner. It's cold out here. It's in the lower 40s. And it's rainy. We're not working outside today. This is this is what it looks like when it rains, though. But look how clear the, the pond's getting. You can see the ledge all the way around, and then it goes down another. You know, it's a two foot ledge and then three foot down. You just can't see the brown bottom, but which it is. Well, I guess you can. You can see the edge over there. But it's getting so clear. Oh yeah, there goes a paddlefish right there. Something dark right there. Uh, says the blind guy holding the camera I can't see <laughs> all right well it's cold let me go back inside before I start shaking too much oh man well no need to tell you that I definitely like summer better but oh, it's cold the plants like summer better they all turn a little bit brown brown leaves the flowering's going to stop oh oh my goodness we never got the Dwight Howard tank moved oh the plant's back in the water again jeez some like these fish just don't care oh we didn't finish the turtle tank yet, but there's just so much to do. But the plants are all doing good. The transition inside wasn't as bad as I thought. Usually they turn completely brown and you know lose a bunch of leaves. And Brutus come over to say hi. And bruises right behind him. You know, I get a lot of you know comments on, on this picture about his his head being crooked like that, but it's been like that since we got him. It wasn't as bad. It's got, it seemed like he got a little bit worse as he got older. But that's a four and a six foot air pima. Well, he's a little over six foot now. And we get a lot of new people asking why, how come Brutus doesn't eat all the fish in here? Well, it's because we keep them fed. Ooh. Oh, excuse me. Any of the people that bring over, oh, there's those big prune sharks. Uh, anybody that brings over, you know, fish that they've caught on their fishing trip and stuff like that, we'll always freeze them first so that there's no parasites or nothing alive. And, uh, see, the best we can do for them, you know. But stuff like that, birth defects, is nothing we can do. We got our buddy in here. So, since we bought the new tank, this one stopped leaking completely. That's crazy. But, anyways. We got this guy in here that people freak out about. Where's he at? Oh, look. You can't keep two Jardinis together. <laughs> Not only are they together, but they're buddy buddy. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, I wonder if we got a female and a male in there. There he is. That happened before. I mean, someone said something uh, dumb about how you know we mistreat animals but that happened long before we got him the people that brought him in said it happened when he was like seven eight inches he jumped out and he hit the ground and that's when he broke his back and they put him back in the water and surprisingly he lived so you know when it got too big for his tank they brought him here and of course we never say no so we took care of him and 
It don't matter if he's not perfect. He still deserves a nice, nice place to live. Yeah. So, let me see what else. The puppers, they're all getting along perfect. We didn't think they would or know if they would or not, but these little babies grew so big so quickly. They're as big as the adults in there. So. Oh, and the other day, I, I was wrong on the count here. There's the two albinos, and then there was a longer um, non-albino uh, sturgeon, and he's over the 500-gallon now. So that was the three. I thought I thought I had three little ones and the other one, but the other one was missing out of here, and I didn't even notice it. So. And then we got the, the new baby here, Pima. Well, I say baby. He's healing up quick. His fins were all cut up, and now look. They grow so quick. I say baby, but he's... She's probably 20 inches. Something like that. <laughs> this 110 gallons quickly turned into our Pleco tank. We still have plenty of baby dough by give out. Come on out. Oh, and also, this next weekend, uh, I think it's the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, will be the OCA weekend. The Ohio Cichlid Association will be having their big extravaganza for the weekend. You guys don't want to miss that. Uh, actually, Ohio Fish Rescue will be there as one of the uh, speakers. Uh, they've got people flying in from all over the world. We've got people coming here from all over the place. And it's going to be a heck of a weekend. We're going to have bus rides back and forth all weekend from the extravaganza to the rescue and then back to the extravaganza with uh, the, the white bus we got for Tracy. We're going to put it to use this weekend. So you don't want to miss that. If you guys can make it out, you get to see both. The Ohio Cichlid Association Extravaganza and the Ohio Fish Rescue. Plus, you get to see me and Josh do a presentation at the rescue or at the Cichlid Association. We did get this 80 gallon tank moved. That was over here blocking these doors. So now we're getting ready to open them doors. As soon as I get the uh, turtle uh, enclosure finished, we can rip down this old small enclosure. And uh, then we'd be able to open them doors, take tanks out, and move the new tanks in there. Let's see if we can see this Abba. He's usually in here somewhere. Well, I mean, he's always in here. Oh, there he is right up front. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. Well, you're about 20 inches, too. 20 inches, 22 inches. Hi. Now it's thin. Oh, there it is. He's a something. Uh, salt water tank, of course. I love looking at this guy. I love the way he moves in his long, long arms. And I love that he gets along with all these fish in here. Hey, Jerry, you do realize that next weekend we have the OCA weekend. Yeah. We're going to have loads of people here, plus we have our presentation to do. I wish I could sit in the back of the room and heckle you. <laughs> i got to be here if you're there. Right. And we're going to have a lot of people here, so we'll yeah, see. That's fine. It's nice to have good friends, huh? <laughs> and we've had no baby stingrays yet. Not in the adult stingray tank. You know what I haven't seen in a while? 
Where is he at? Hey, Jerry, where did the African arrow want to go to? He's up in the, uh, with the big race. Oh, he's in with the big steam race? Yeah, up there the top. Oh, yeah, there he is. Oh, yeah, he got big. Look at Goliath down here. Got the new baby in there now. Yeah. Oh, somebody wanted me to put my hand up by the jelly cat. Where's he at? He's usually right against the front window. I don't see him, so I can't do it now. Here's something we haven't seen in a while. Vinyl tinfoil bars. Well, geez, look at the size of that. Holy crow. The, the new TF. And then our filamentosum. Oh my goodness, look how big you are. You are just something else. Look at that face on you. You are gorgeous. Wow. I love that. Is that our? Oh, that is the albino goonch. Oh my God, look how big and thick he's gotten. I haven't seen him in a while. He's doubled in size. Wow, okay. Oh, and here's our star of the show. Lone Star. There's his tail. Here's his face. That was generously donated to us at about three and a half inches. He was the size of my pinky when he came in. Uh, by Lone Star Aquatics. And check them out. Great place to get your exotic, all your exotic needs. Beautiful tank. I love that. And then... This is the second saltwater tank, just having the, the rocks there and a spare place to put fish while we set up this other 540 because it's starting to get down into the, you know, 40s at night and we can't have that acrylic tank sitting outside. It's eight foot long, so we need to get it in here. Even if we have to bring it in and leave it empty and take the couches out and just leave it set there in the way. It won't be in the way because the couches ain't in the way, but it'll be in the way of the view. But we need to bring it in this weekend. So we'll work on that. Yep, and I need to get in here and fix this gravel before this weekend too. So I'm going to finish working on this today. But I've showed you guys so much of it that I'm just going to go ahead and finish trimming off the back wall. And put the supports in the corners holding it to the walls and enclose this plug uh, on myself. I'll just show you guys the finished product. Then everyone keeps asking us if we're gonna put a liner down. If we put a liner down, the turtles would tear that up. So what we're gonna do is, is uh, we got two by four framework holding it together and just plywood. Um, we're gonna go ahead and paint the inside with a uh, epoxy like garage floor paint or something. Something hard and solid like that or maybe even the same paint that we're gonna use inside the fish tanks. It's a two-part epoxy, no matter which brand we use, and it'll cover it and seal it. And then we've ordered the bedding for it. It's uh, 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 some sort of hay pellets that is really good for the turtles. And uh, it, it's also non-molding and all that kind of stuff. So we had to spend a little more, but we looked around and found out the best pellets we can use for a base. All right, guys. Appreciate hanging out with, with me, and uh, you know, I try and keep you updated as to what we're doing, how we're doing it, when we're doing it. And uh, Josh tries the same, but Josh gets to do all these big major event videos, and I'm I'm left in the back showing you what's going on around here. <laughs> so I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we will. Things are getting exciting lately, so stay tuned. There's just so much more coming so quickly. Take care and stay fishy, my friends.